In the mid-20th century, the Red Scare swept the nation, including into state legislatures. One state passed laws to keep communists out of public schools. As the Cold War raged, so did an educator's argument over his First Amendment rights, in Cassian v. Board of Regents. The New York legislature passed the Feinberg Law to enforce two of New York's older laws. Pursuant to the Feinberg Law, Section 3021 of New York's Education Law states that treasonable or seditious words or acts could result in being fired from a job in the public school system. Also pursuant to the Feinberg Law, Section 105 of the Civil Service Law disqualified people from employment and education who advocated for, joined a group that advocated for, or published or distributed material about violently overthrowing the United States government. The Feinberg Law required the State University of New York's Board of Regents to make rules and procedures to ensure that no one who said or did anything seditious worked in the public school system. The board decided that the Communist Party was a subversive organization, so current, or in some cases, former members couldn't be eligible for employment. Harry Cassian taught English. Like other instructors, for continued employment, Cassian needed to sign the Feinberg Certificate certifying that he wasn't a communist, and if he was a communist before, he notified the state university's president. Cassian refused to sign, so his teaching contract wasn't renewed. George Starbuck worked in the university's library. He didn't have to sign a certification, but he needed to answer a question under oath. The question asked if Starbuck had ever advised, taught, or held membership in a group that taught or advocated for the overthrow of the U.S. government or its subdivisions using force, violence, or unlawful means. Starbuck refused to answer, so he was fired. Cassian, Starbuck, and a few others who refused to sign a certification sued the board. Cassian argued that the state program wasn't constitutional and asked the court to issue an injunction. A three-judge panel in the district court upheld the program. Cassian appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court.